Hey, how's it going out there to everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. Want to talk to you about paying them tolls for them toll roads today. Uh, didn't mean to offend you with that thumbnail. Paying them are stupid. Trust me, if paying tolls are stupid, I pay a plenty. So I'm putting myself in that category. Uh, sometimes it's a good idea. Sometimes it is not. Uh, I'm going to try to give you a little strategy here, a little game on how I think about it, how I go about it. So... Uh, I just got to look, and it is mid-October 2021 right now, and I just looked my iPass account. I have paid $6,508.40 in tolls this year. They've collected 403 tolls on me. And let me tell you, that is coming from a guy that goes around a lot of tolls. I dodge Indiana, like, every time I dodge Indiana on I-80. Uh, I'm just not a fan of I-80 through Indiana. I'm not going to pay 56, 53, whatever it is nowadays. Just not in for it. Just not in for it. I go around a lot of Pennsylvania tolls. Uh, instead of running 76, I'd rather jump up and run 80, you know, save that hundred and something dollars there. Uh, Ohio, I'm kind of in that ballpark too. I'll go around a lot of Ohio on 80, jump down, take US 30, but uh, I always dodge indiana on uh, us 20 so that's my tolls it's not calculating uh, i've got a k tag as well for uh texas oklahoma and kansas uh tolls so probably add another couple hundred onto that i am paying a lot of tolls uh in this truck so i go around when i can when it's effective i do see i don't just say dodge every toll because sometimes it's not effective um you know some of them like what you, you know if you pay eight dollars to you know stay on the freeway for a couple hundred miles versus you know going around some two-lane road for you know three hours uh i say pay the eight dollars and move on with your life but uh there are times when you can dodge them now i want to tell you uh the first advice i would give someone on tolls in a truck is get a transponder stopping and paying tolls or paying via your license plate is probably costing you more than if you just had a transponder connected to a credit card or a debit card. Um, I prefer iPass. I know a lot of people tell me, oh, get this one, get that one. You know, um, so I have to have two. Um, you know, I've still got my Florida one here, but uh, I haven't thrown it away yet. Um, I'm, I don't know, I'm, attached, I'm emotionally attached to it or something, I guess, because Technically, uh, iPass pays most of those now that the SunPass would have paid. Um, so the way that works, the reason I keep the iPass noise tolls gives me discounts. That's why I keep the iPass. It, you know, I, a lot of my tolls are paid in uh, Illinois, and getting that discount through iPass it seems to work for me. So that's my first piece of advice. Get yourself a transponder. Second piece of advice is download the app Toll Guru. Uh, Toll Guru. I really like this app. It's really nice. It's really effective. Just make sure whenever you're putting in your, uh, you know, your information, make sure you put in a truck. Go down to truck and then go down to how many axles you have on your truck. It's a drop down. Uh, it's a really simple app to use. I recommend logging in and building a uh, vehicle profile. That way, you just click on your vehicle every time, and it uh, you know it'll tell you how much the tolls are for that vehicle. Now, I do like Toll Guru. You can put up to I think six destinations in there. So, a guy that does a lot of multi-stop loads like me, all I have to do is punch in multi-stop, multi-stop, and I'm good to go. You know, put in all my stops, and it calculates it all for me. I like the fact, too, that if you do use this app, you can look at their map view. And on the map view, it will show you where the toll plazas are and how much they collect at each plaza. Therefore, it gives me an idea. Do I want to go up and pay this toll, or do I want to go around this? You know, gives you good advice there. It's got a couple different options whenever you do a route. You can do the cheapest route. And it'll even calculate in your fuel. You put in how much you pay per gallon for fuel on this trip. Uh, your city gallons and your highway gallons. And it'll kind of calculate it for you. Um, you know, I use that sometimes. It's got, you can do cheapest, fastest. You know, like you can route it different ways. I really like this app. It is a convenient, free app that saves me lots of money. 
I would say that out probably saves me on ballpark uh, maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars a year. You can't beat that for something that's free. Uh, my third piece of advice: try some alternate routes when you have a chance. Now, the way I like to do it is, hey, I was going down to Texas from Minneapolis, and I said, hey, I haven't been down US 69 in a while, and I said, if I go down that way, I'm dodging versus going down to Tulsa and taking the uh, Native American Tollway or whatever that road's called down through there. I said, let me try that. I had a light load, and it was at night, so it gave me a good aspect of, like, would I want to do this during the day? And no, I would not. <laughs> That's one of them where I'm just going to pay that toll right now because US-69 is under some major construction. And uh, it is a slow go down through there. So, you know, try alternate routes when it's convenient. You know, I had time to try that. Uh, you know, so if you've got a little extra time on a, on a load or maybe if you get a light load and See, that's a good time to get off and try these roads because sometimes going around a toll road is effective, but you don't know because you don't want to take the chance and be late for a delivery or something like that. So try alternate routes when you can. And that leads to the fourth one. Uh, compare cost versus time versus miles. There are key factors in that when you decide if I'm going to go around a toll road or pay a toll. For me... The main factor is cost. The second factor is time. And then the last factor kind of goes with cost. It's miles, you know. Uh, but I try to compare all three of those on a route. You know, that's like, um, like if I want to go around, um, you know, let's use, let's use I-80, the Indiana Toll Road, for example, in Indiana. Now, you can hop off and take uh, US-20 to Indiana-2 to get back on to... Uh, US 20 and run that over right into across the Ohio line and get on Iowa for I, Ohio Route 49 State Route 49 and jump right on the freeway back on the in uh, the Ohio toll road So if you just want to dodge Indiana right there, you save yourself like 50 something bucks And it, I mean, it's literally like 10 more miles you drive. I think overall maybe let's say 20 at the tops and it does add about a half an hour to that route. So if you just jump on the toll road and you take that across to Indiana, it's probably like 160 miles across there. Now, if you take US 20, for example, that is uh, maybe say it's going to be 175, 180 miles. So you're adding about 20 miles. It does add a half hour to go that way as well. It's, uh, you know, because it's some two-lane roads. It's some going through some towns, and there's some stoplights. So it does add about a half an hour to just going across to Indiana. So if you're in a mad dash hurry, you know, hammer down, got a load that should have been picked up three days ago and delivered yesterday, you know, you got to factor that in. Sometimes you pay the cost to take that Indiana toll road. But... If I at all I've got a chance to go around something like that, I'm going to pocket that 56 bucks. You know, for me, uh, you know, that's a good chunk of fuel on a route across there, you know. So uh, compare, you know, do your own research on this. That's my advice on tolls. You know, it's, you know, simple stuff, simple stuff. Get the transponder uh, mainly is my thing because stopping and paying these tolls is costing you more because the, most of these transponders do give you a discount. And not to mention, when you stop the truck, you pay more to get it rolling again. And it just costs time. And another thing for me is, uh, uh, you know, can Indiana get with the program in Ohio? I get the rolling, you know, thing where I don't have to stop like these other states have, where I can just drive through. I mean... Come on, guys. Get your stuff together, Ohio and Indiana. Pay enough tolls over there. You guys should be able to afford some overhead, uh, you know, drive-through transponders and whatnot. But uh, that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, hit the like button if you could. If you're not a subscriber, think about subscribing. This is what we do over here. We try to save you money and help you make more money. And uh, that's what I like doing. So if everybody could, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Check out the description down below for lots of cool things. Mud flap, my merch tent, uh, all kind of stuff down there.